What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Hunter X here, bringing us another episode of Die Wolf 21.16.5. Hope you all are having a fan fantastic day. With that being said, you're new around here. Click that subscribe button as today we're getting into some RF tools, baby. Alrighty, guys. So in today's episode, we're gonna be getting into RF tools, but before we do that, though, your boy needs some help we need to desperately fix our netherite armor now remember last episode we tried to get creative mode flight but not so fast we weren't able to get it because we don't have chicken and chickens are very essential to what we want to build aka we need feathers so let me go ahead and get a little bit of netherite so I can repair my armor as my armor is pretty much almost broken and it needs repair. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So it's freaking raining. Of course it is. And it's also nighttime. There it is. I was just, okay. Anyway, I digress. Let's grab our netherite here. We should be good to go. Yeah, we only really need one block. It shouldn't take that much netherite to repair our armor, hopefully. So we're gonna go, we're, go blah, 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 blah. English. <laughs> we're gonna go learn English real quick. And we're gonna go repair our armor. And then we shall go also upgrade our mining rig as well. As you can see, I have that in my inventory. We need to go take care of a few things in today's episode. And that's a fully repaired helmet. Nine was the exact number that we needed, so that's pretty good. And our energy upgrade should be ready to go. Beautiful, and we can actually go ahead and head on over to the mining dimension where we're going to go install our beautiful upgrades for our mining machine over here. Actually, this is actually done. Okay, I was not expecting this to be done. That's all right. We can we can actually now take this and move it, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and just unload this chunk. And then let's see what else we want to do. Anyway, let's, let's get a little bit far further away here. We'll just say boop right here is good. Plop this back down. Let me make sure that I didn't just screw us. Okay. We're 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 Gucci. I'm actually surprised my my competence enabled to uh get this in one chunk. Which is great. Where is our configure boy? And that should be pretty much ready to go. The only thing is that we're missing is our speed boy upgrades and go. So he is currently doing 1000 RF per tick, which is basically nothing for, you know, what we can handle. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and mark this on the map. Make sure that we don't lose it because that would be unacceptable. You know, I might not have show waypoints on. That's fine. F3G. We can go home now. Bada bing, bada boom. So today's episode is going to be more geared towards looking at RF tools and looking at RF tool dimensions. Um, RF tools dimensions is a pretty cool mod basically allows us to uh, make custom dimensions and and uh, visit them and and do all sorts of crazy stuff which is gonna be nice that's what we want so to get into RF tools dimensions it's actually it's completely and utterly revamped um, which is crazy um, dimension builders are going to be one thing that we're going to need. We're going to need the inscription table. 
this, this is gonna be a lot of stuff that we're gonna need now i'm actually i'm not even sure myself still how this entire mod works however there's a few things that we're gonna want for sure we're definitely gonna want to dimension inscriber for sure that's gonna allow us to make dimensions also getting this dimensional shard stuff we can also craft it if we need to but prismarine shards are a little bit hard to get i'm pretty sure uh guardian spikes can drop them um game are you are you literally about to crash on me now i i want to keep i want to let you know the, the the i'm not sure if there's an actual ftb update if there's an update for this pack or not i should probably check that and if we are behind i should probably update the mod pack just because um yeah dimensional shard or one of the things that we're gonna have uh a big struggle with for sure is getting the um the the, the prismarine if we wanted to make dimensional shard or but also we could get really lucky with our our world that we generate and we might you know just very well get what we need so we're gonna need quite a bit of this stuff uh paper also we can also make paper out of sawdust um if we would like uh so we don't have to just use uh sugar cane all the time um <clears throat> something to keep in note as well is we're gonna need a lot of this dimwit works work or uh, dimwit research um you know i'm pretty sure we can get that from we can get that from i believe as yeah as you can see we're we're getting actually quite a bit of dimwits already and that's just coming from our um marb farm our mob farm like a block of nickel that's uh, that's actually a pretty good um i want to say it's a pretty good uh what should i call it uh dimwit um okay so we have the dimwit workbench knowledge holder would be nice to have so yeah as you can tell we're gonna need quite a bit of this uh these empty dimwit stuff and yeah I, i'm actually really excited to be diving into this this is this is where things are gonna start really kind of ramping up i feel like things are gonna start getting crazy we're gonna be doing a lot of exploration i know that for a fact over the next couple of uh episodes it's gonna be a lot of exploration um i'm out of leather um you know what i could do i can just quickly run to a a thing over here one of those barns real quick hey thank you thanks for the leather <clears throat> things are gonna start getting crazy like i mean crazy all right there you go and i might do some off cam exploring as well it depends you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys want to see you want to see me do off cam yeah you know it just it just dawned on me right this second actually if we can get if we can find spawners in these dimensions we might be able to find like, like a wither skeleton spawner or an enderman spawner or something like that that way we can create stuff with the um what's that mod called um new mana craft uh universal uni uni universe we have cables we have to there's no way that we don't oh i might i might have them on me i do have them on me okay you know what would be actually nice i should actually you know what i'm gonna teach i'm gonna do some real quick teaching of some stuff because we're gonna need we're gonna need flux points for days i mean i don't know we'll see you know one of the things that i really enjoy about the new phantom face is it's, it's just one block man it's literally just one block and it's like not that much of a pain it's not that big of a pain in the butt also this is actually a really good point uh, a really good place to mention 
RF tools is the mod that we're going to be using as well to do our quarrying at some point. So, you know, I, I thought I'll just throw that out there. So where do we, what do we want to do this? Uh, it doesn't really matter where we do this. Um, at all, really. Um, a lot of these dimensions, you know, uh, one thing that I do really admire though, like the, the new, the new way this mod works. It's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. You know what? Actually, no, I want to drop this down one because I want everything else to be level with the ground and not the, 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 not above ground. Oh, wait, no, we, you know, this is fine. So we can set up like no, the knowledge holder doesn't really need EMC or not EMC, uh, power specifically. Like a lot, I feel like a lot of this now, a lot of the stuff nowadays in this mod don't really require power, right? So it's more like just like the di dimensional transceivers and whatnot that need power. Actually, you know what? I need to, that's the researcher now. The researcher needs to go. A lot of this doesn't need power. I need to figure out what needs power and what doesn't need power. That needs power. I don't think the dimwit workbench doesn't need power. Yeah, that doesn't need power. No other, nor does the inscriber need power. Um, so I'm thinking like here and here. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm actually going to move this down one because we're also going to need the the dial oh the dialing device and stuff i want to make sure that everything that requires power is at the front of that that little system there right so that way it's all nice and organized and and whatnot so we're gonna need something called a dialing a dialing device i feel like i don't need any of this anymore you just get rid of it all the dialing device that's going to allow us to dial different dimensions and then a matter transceiver a matter transceiver and receiver are going to be the next things that i'm going to ask for because that's going to allow us basically to teleport right and then we're basically going to set this up in a really smart way so power I then want this to come over the one thing that's gonna really bug me though is that double connection and we can actually disable that as well let me quickly come down on under here there's a double connection right here get rid of that double connection and that's fine I don't know. It's just, you know, something to like, just make it see it's, it's more cleaner. Right. And then you and you need to get moved and your power cable is going to come here and you're going to come down here. Beautiful. And then everything else can be put up above ground. So the dimwit workbench and the inscriber, you would, that's actually a perfect setup. I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I believe home base or home. Yeah. And then this will be, um, I guess we can also just name this home as well. I'm not sure if that really matters. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that matters. If we want to like use the charge porter or something, which is fine, which we don't really, really care about. So to get kind of started in this mod, we're going to just throw this dimensional cha uh, tablet in, give it a name. We'll call it WRD. 
W R L D one. Oh, you can't have spaces, right? And then we'll toss this in the dimension builder. Also, something to keep in mind, something that's going to be very, very important in this new version of RF tools dimensions is the digit dimlets. These guys right here are going to be super important to you. So make sure you have those on auto craft. Um, I will always, I find them very important. Um, let me just make sure I can't auto craft for some torches. And then we just need to basically teach you how to make this and also teach you how to make paper, which is fine. The digit dimwits are going to be very important you, and, and I'll tell you why. So the way RF tools works is it will create a dimension. And if you put the exact same dimwits in the exact same order or the exact same name, you can basically make infinite dimensional tabs of that dimension. However, when you add a dim, a, a digit dimwit or any other dimwit that isn't in that dimension, it will then create a new dimension that you can go ahead and use. So we're going to go ahead. This is all charged up. It's using about 24 hours per tick, so it's actually pretty low. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to our matter or our dialing device. The home will always be dialed. This will always be dialed at the top. And then here we're going to go ahead and dial once right here. And then we're going to basically hop into this and check out what world we got. Well, and I might have just crashed. either that or it's yeah this is what i'm saying about it being on a really unstable version of the mod as you can well you guys can't really see at the moment if i was to turn this on for you guys yeah as you guys would be able to see that my screen is basically white <laughs> so now either a minecraft's gonna crash which i think it's gonna crash and let's, let's see what, let's see what my task okay look, look at my yeah, it's dying. Oh yeah, this dimension is a no good dimension. I basically need to force crash the pack. Let me exit the world here. This is what I'm going to do. I have to save and quit and then delete the world. So it respawns me back in the overworld. And that, that was a really good world too. Uh, what? Why did you unpause? No, I told you to save and quit. Oh, you're going to really make me Okay, it's going to make me do this. Guys, we'll be right back. Okay. The, the, the anticipation is so real right now. All right. Well, it looks like we're back in the overworld. I diluted the world. So we're going to basically disassemble this. That's a bad world. We're going to extract it. We want to put this digit zero in and then name it world two. And then we're going to basically load this one and just hope that we get something good, right? Like this, this is like the whole premise. Also, I kind of want to make a few mob imprisonment tools. And there's actually a few reasons why I want a few of these as well. Oh, that's right. Gas tears. Gas tiers are kind of a little bit of a problem at the moment. Uh, we're gonna have to, you know, kill creepers and get in and, and, and like auto farm creepers or something. Dial once, we'll teleport. And we, looks like we've got crates of apples. That's actually not a bad one, actually. Um, crates of apples is not a bad thing at all. However. This dimension seems to be super flat and also very neat with its jungle. Oh, this, these right here are very important. Walk in them and you can find 
very OP things, right? So, like, this is what I mean by, like, going and exploring these, um, these, uh, these worlds. Because, like, you can find some pretty OP stuff in this world. Now, one of the also things that you might want to make as well, just in case, for a precaution, is something called a dimension... No, phased field generator. Make one of those just in case if you're afraid of running out of power before you get out of the dimension. If you're worried about your power dying on you, um, you can make one of those and you'll have enough time to like figure out what the heck you need to do. Uh, cause this will store power. This will, uh, this, this RF slash charged module gives a temporary protection while visiting an unpowered dimension. So yeah, basically it allows you to um, visit unpowered dimensions. Uh, say if you die, if you die in your power, like your, your, your English, your, your, your dimension runs out of power and you die, you can make one of those, charge it, and then get back in to get your stuff, basically. Right. Uh, let's see. Smoky quartz. Block netherite. So these are actually very important stuff. Uh, oh, wow. There's two of them right next to each other. I'm also looking out for chickens as well. Niter ore. Also very important. I believe niter is used in the reactor stuff that we could be doing very, very shortly. Uh, or very very soon. Oh time normal But that's not what i'm looking for There's a few dims that we're looking for Specifically and also like you can get a lot of dims from Oh, whoa This is cool By the way, so let's see we have light blue co light blue concrete Uh, what is this stuff? I'm not even sure what this stuff is Let me check it out Dead horn coral. What is this stuff over here? Metamorphic fungal stone brick. Huh. Like, yeah, as you can see, the random world generator generates some pretty unique and weird little worlds that you can explore, which are, it's, it's super fun, if I'm being honest, right? Iron ore, I don't really care too much. I mean, I can guess I can research that. Um, you know, maybe maybe we should go back and get an uh one of those um what do you call those things? End pouches. Cause I wouldn't mind having one of those end pouches. Yeah. One of those uh whatchamacallit's it? Um Ender pouches. But that world was pretty unique and you and neat but we need to go and let's, let's go discover some more more I, I really this is like my favorite thing like discovering weird and unique worlds i think i might want to do this for a couple of episodes if i'm being honest i don't know i'm i might not i might because ooh, who doesn't want to you know discover unique new world and and just have overall a lot of fun you know uh we also want another digit dimwit also if you're wondering how you get more than a zero digit all you need to do is craft it with itself and that will give you the next key dim uh dimwit i'm actually gonna keep this world because i want i want to have this world because this world is pretty cool and it also, um, I don't think I haven't updated. So like at the current version that I have, you can't capitalize that, um, letters, unfortunately on the world creation, but is this literally going to crash me? I was like, are you kidding me? Like, really? Um, we just gotta, you gotta keep in mind that we still can crash. Because I haven't updated the mod yet, so. And I don't know if 
I don't know if there is even a new update for uh, this mod anyway. So also another key important thing to know is mo the dimensions in this in this our fuel dimension world they replicate the minecraft time so if you go in there well it's nighttime you're gonna have a bad time trust me you're gonna have a bad time so you're gonna want to make sure every time you teleport to a new world it's daytime what is this oh yes i like to see that acacia wood is a really neat i'm, I'm curious to kind of like just like travel around and see what else we have we have acacia wood and we have polished basalt granite and purple concrete as orbs that's kind of that's unique it's it as you like i said this will create really weird really 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 weird uh worlds and and whatnot but yeah oh hello why why leave me alone <laughs> where, where'd you even come from where did you even come from sir i i don't understand you probably came from up here somewhere or something like that you know what yeah that's why i'm here i i mean i might as well like as you can see like we have all these different dims like yellow right or that's from um what do you call it that's from nuclear react or not nuclear reactors that's from um i can't think of the name of the mod now extreme reactors which is pretty cool uh we i gotta be careful which which things i grab uh where's my digit where is my digit yeah it's it, sometimes it's a little a little tricky to 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 kind of get it on your first go or or whatever the case may be so we're gonna come over here dimension inscriber pop that in there pop that in there w -L w -W, uh, w r l d number four that one was a pretty unique world we're gonna go ahead and jump in this one now and that should be almost done ready to go soon ready to go we can hit dial once and teleport let's see what we got okay so we got a pretty a really slow living planks that's cool what is this oh it's light blue concrete powder with crates of tomatoes nice gotta love the tomatoes it's basically infinite ketchup appetite or black concrete and eh. black concrete is okay now, i'm not even sure if we're gonna be able to find oh yeah there is totally different there's totally different biomes in this which is neat this is a thing of hops what is hops even i don't even know what hops are petal blocks by the way, be prepared to find a lot of pedal blocks. Uh a lot of pedal blocks in the in the um thingy the jigger, the, the the these things, these little houses. Oh, I thought that was hard ice for I was like, am I about to die? Lapis is or don't really need it. Bla block of blazing crystal. What is blazing crystal? Blazing crystal what are you you're from power oh oh neat that's actually pretty neat holy cow i can't believe like we've only explored a few what is this vexing tree ours nouveau damn we've only explored like three worlds or four worlds and it's already time to go it's already at that point like holy cow Graphite blocks, crack stone bricks. But dang, this is pretty. This is a pretty cool world. Not gonna lie, but unfortunately, it doesn't have what I'm looking for, which is animals. So that one's a dud for me. I think that one's definitely a dud for me. 
there is a lot of living planks though which is well living planks hold on can i mine this real quick i'm not sure i'm gonna try to chisel this i'm just very curious can i chisel this yeah let's just get it let's just get a bunch of these and then let's go home i'm not even sure if i'm gonna be able to chisel these it isn't it says batania living planks uh do we even have a chisel we have chisel in bits oh that's right this is 116 i totally forgot we don't have chisel guys unfortunately it's time to wrap up today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding dong that notification bell become a part of the hunters tribe by following me on my all like, following me on all my social medias joining us on twitch by following on twitch i live stream every monday through friday 9 a.m till 5 p.m with that being said guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time